بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ramadan time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is another day of Ramadan and I hope everybody is doing well. Alhamdulillah we are doing fine. I also hope everybody is doing ibadat, dhikr, adhkar, praying salah on time because that is really really important. Reading the Quran, fasting, doing lots of good deeds and doing takbir. Takbir is a really really important thing. Here is a favor for you. Do takbir at least 33 times. That may be a big favor for you, but you will get lots of rewards and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah. Let's move on to the good deed of the day. <laughs> the good deed of the day. Show your kindness to everyone including animals. Simply giving a few birds a piece of bread or a thirsty dog some water will benefit you. Oh, so the duck feet. Yes, you or can. Or the dog wet feet. <laughs> you can also feed ducks or pigeons on the way. If you're going to the park, you can mm, go. I don't know how pigeons look like. <laughs> it's like a kind of bird. Oh. Do you see birds every day? Yeah. Do you want Sometimes to try and feed them? I see. Sometimes I see chicks in chicks in my year four school. Sometimes I do. <laughs> so Samiha is saying that at her school she sees some chicks and chickens. <laughs> no chick. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if you see a pigeon or a duck, if you're going to the park, then you can also feed them some bread or yeah. a food that they like. Mm -hmm. You will get so much rewards from it, inshallah. Mm -hmm. Samiha. <laughs> You get stronger. <laughs> so, Miha, you oh, know yeah. that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, Whoever is merciful, even to a sparrow, Allah will be merciful to him on the day of judgment. So, you should be merciful to all the animals, okay? Okay. Now that we've finished the good deed of the day, let's move on to... Hadith. <laughs> Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu anna rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala la tabaghadu wa la tahasadu wa la tadabaru wa kunu ibadillahi ikhwanan wa la yahillu li muslimin an yahjura akhahu fawqa thalathin Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu narrated that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said do not hate one another and do not be jealous of one another and do not desert each other and all Allah's worshippers be brothers. It is not permissible for any Muslim to desert his Muslim brother for more than three days. Three days. Do you know what desert means? Desert means when you do not talk to someone, okay? Okay. So it is not permissible for you to not talk to your Muslim brother or sister for more than three days, okay? Okay. Now let's have a look at the lessons of this hadith. The lessons? Yes. Listen carefully, okay? Yes. Because I'm going to ask you some questions on it, okay? Mm-hmm. Number one, we should not hate, be jealous of, or abandon one another. Number two, we should not harm any Muslim in any way. Number three, we are not allowed to break our relationship with any Muslim for more than three days. Oh, no. Yeah, that is not permissible, mm -hmm. meaning that is not allowed. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to ask you some questions, okay? Mm -hmm. Number one, should we be jealous of our friends if they received a new toy and we did not? No. Yes, we should be grateful for what we have instead. Number two. If we fight with our brothers or sisters, are we allowed to stop talking to them for more than three days? No, because that is not allowed. Mm -hmm. That is not allowed in the future. <laughs> Number three. Discuss some ways we can show love and kindness to our friends at school. So how can we show love and kindness to our friends at school? We can do activities um, with yeah, them. Yeah, we can play games with them. Yes. And we can share toys. Share. Yeah. Or do activities. <laughs> yeah, just as I said. Okay, now that we finished oh, the lessons of the hadith. <laughs> that's at home, okay? Okay. Now that we finished the lessons of the hadith, let's move on to Surah Learning Time. Surah. 
now that I've finished Hadith, let's move on to Surah Learning Time. So, Sumiha, yesterday I taught you Surah Nasr. Now, today you're going to say Surah Al Kafirun. By myself? <laughs> no, well, I'm going to teach you today. Okay? okay? Then tomorrow you're going to say it by yourself. Okay. Now, repeat after me. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun. Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun. La a'budu ma ta'budun. La a'budu ma ta'budun. Wa la antum a'abidun ma a'bud. Wa la antum a'abidun ma a'bud. Wa la ana a'abidun ma a'badtum. Wa la antum a'abidun ma a'bud. ولا ما عبد ما بدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم واليدين لكم دينكم واليدين Now let's say it again so that you know it, okay? What? Now repeat after me. قل يا أيها الكافرون قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون لا أعبد ما تعبدون ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم واليدين لكم دينكم واليدين Well done, Sumiha. MashaAllah. I'm very, very proud of you. Assalamualaikum, everyone. <laughs> nice to end of the video. Assalamualaikum, everyone. <laughs> See you tomorrow, inshaAllah. Assalamualaikum. Inshaallah, be well, be well. Bismillah, bika, lazi, khalaq, khalaq, al-in.